Secret Agents. Welcome to another mission here with Secret Agent Stash. All you guys are my agents, right? So this is Secret Agent Stash headquarters. And I invite you guys here to hang out with me to infiltrate all these amazing blockchain games every week on Thursday at the same time. You can find me here in different disguises hanging out. Uh, hang, playing blockchain games with you guys. So we're gonna do like we always do. We're going to, for we, we start off, I always start off here in my secret agent disguise. I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but this is my secret agent outfit, right? So this is what I wear just on the normal, because this is my normal secret agent thing, right? And then we're gonna, we're gonna change into a disguise before we actually go to infiltrate the game, because I don't want anybody to recognize me while I'm there streaming. I wanna make sure that, you know, I'm, I'm being kind of secretive about it, sneaky. That's the secret agent way, man. That's what we have to do. That's what Secret Agent Stash is all about. So uh, today, we're going to be infiltrating one of my most favorite blockchain games, Gods Unchained. Now this is a really cool uh, CCG or TCG, whatever you want to, I don't know why there's two different terms. Can we just pick one? Can it, can it be trading card game or collectible card game? I don't really know, is there a difference? <laughs> I'm not really sure, uh, but those are kind of interchangeable. So TCG, CCG, uh, Gods Unchained is a very similar game uh, in respect to like Magic the Gathering or Hearthstone, but they allow you to actually own your cards in a provable, in a like a provable way that has rarity to these cards too. So you know for sure that the rarity of these cards are provable using blockchain. Uh, and that's one of the great features that they kind of have behind the scenes that they, that they use blockchain for. So all the cards within this game are actual NFTs on the Ethereum blockchain. So I think that's a pretty unique thing. And Gods and Chain has done something that, you know, I think a lot of other games have, uh, are, are attempting to try and do here in the blockchain gaming space. They've tried to bring a real AAA uh, top notch experience that most gamers are, you know, are kind of expecting at this point that, is so seamless when it comes to the integration of blockchain that you don't really even notice that much. I mean, obviously there are still a couple of hurdles and those are hurdles that we're always going to have to uh, work on and tackle. But if you guys watched my recent interview on my YouTube channel, you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel? What? Breaking my heart. You should go subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're not. Uh, but I put all really great content on there, a lot of gaming stuff, uh, a lot of crypto and gaming focused things. But I interviewed one of the team members, the producer, Derek Proud from Gods Unchained. And it was great. We talked all about this. And so that's one you definitely don't want to uh, go miss on there. So we talk about all, all about some of the future things that they're actually working on too that help to alleviate some of these hurdles that people who are not familiar with crypto or Ethereum or any of these crazy crypto things, they just, they're just gamers that like cool games. They want to play Gods Unchained, but they don't want to have to deal with some of these hurdles. So it is kind of a, a, a hard thing for a new person coming in. And I think that's one of the cool things about what Gods Unchained is doing is they are really taking that 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 you know consumer first approach that that you know assumes that they don't know anything about blockchain. And so it, it's a pretty easy game to onboard. I'm actually going to show you guys one of the really cool features today that they just released. I think this was last week, called the new Welcome Set. So if you're a current uh, GU player, God's Unchained player, maybe you already have checked out the new welcome set, but it's a brand new set of cards that every player gets when they first download God's Unchained. God's Unchained is a free to play game. So just like any other game, it's free to play. But when I talk about God's Unchained, what I always talk about is that the tagline is play to earn. That's what we're here talking about, man, play to earn. That's what I love about talking about God's Unchained because it really uh, exemplifies that next step of what I think game evolution is, is going from this like free to play, which God's Unchained is also free to play, where you have free to play, but then you have you know these upsells for cosmetics. Well, in this game, you can buy cosmetics and things like that too, you know, trinkets. But you know, the, the main thing is that you can actually play and earn you know, value while you're just through playing without having to put your own money in. And you could actually turn that value around and sell it in the marketplace for Ethereum. And then maybe you sell that for US dollars if you like. I I tend to keep all of my profits in, in crypto, but if you're not a crypto person, uh, you know, it's a pretty easy process to be able to sell your cards for Ethereum that you've, that you've won or, or you've created uh, by, by playing the game and then selling that Ethereum for 
US dollars if you really want to go that route. So uh, the, the whole play to earn model, I think, is a really big thing. And I think Gods and Chain is pioneering that model. And blockchain helps them do that in a very secure way that uh, allows you to uh, see all that data, know all that data is there and go verify it for yourself if you want to, knowing that, you know, these cards are in your own possession. They're not sitting on some centralized Hearthstone server or some Magic the Gathering server where if they're just like, hey, you know what? Uh, they, they're gonna pull a, a mixer on us. That, is that the new term? We, do, we, do we just, is that a new term? Can we make that a new term, guys? Can we just call now uh, like a, a game scams uh, or exiting as, as, as a game company? We'll just call that pulling a mixer. So it's like, hey, we're gonna leave everyone high and dry. I know you guys like the service, but you know, we're pulling a mixer. So we're, we're, we're going we're gonna to bail out on everybody and uh, just go use Facebook gaming. I couldn't believe they said that. I was actually probably, uh, quite surprised. But that's not, not <laughs> either here nor there. Uh, I think that, uh, you know, w when it comes to in this, this kind of game, it, it's, at, it's at a pretty good point where it's bringing in those people because there are some unique aspects of it. You can trade your cards. You do actually own these cards, so you can trade them back and forth, and that is a big thing. So uh, we're going to jump into Gods Unchained right now. Uh, and then we're going to do uh, so I'm going to I'm going to do a, a disguise change. So if this is this is this is the exciting part. You guys are if you guys are here right now, this is one of the most exciting parts of the whole uh, the, of, the, of the whole show. Right. This is the, the, one of the great parts. So I'm going to change into this disguise. So I make sure nobody knows who I am. I'm going to infiltrate this game. Gods Unchained. And we're going to have a lot of fun. I'm going to show you all the cool new features, including the welcome set. So you guys know exactly where Gods Unchained sits right now before they get ready to release the brand new Trial of the Gods ex expansion set uh coming here to us pretty soon so are, are, are you guys ready uh, you know maybe we should start some speculation or something you guys need to get like a pool going like what is this next disguise gonna be i don't know you know i think that'd be fun we'll see we, maybe we need maybe we need to get a few more people here in, in the regular before we start actually doing some pools right I, I don't know i don't know what you guys think about that but uh we'll, we'll definitely do that and you know if you guys aren't already in my discord definitely jump in there i'm sure nightbot will jump in here and plug it any minute now Nightbot, Nightbot, get it, get it, get it. <laughs> uh, but uh, also we're going to be doing some giveaways today. We do giveaways every stream I do here every week on Thursday, 4 p.m. Uh, Pacific time. So, all right, I'm going to, I'm going to go, I'm going to go, I'm going right now. I'm going to go jump in. I'm going to change my disguise and we're going to go into this game right now. Do it. It is I, Stasius the Great, secret agent Stasius the Great. I'm here to infiltrate Gods and Chain today. They'll never know me disguised in this costume. Secret agent Stash can infiltrate right into the game, and we're gonna have a lot of fun playing Gods Unchained today. Uh, I'm dressed, I got my God costume on, my Roman God costume, so no one is ever going to notice me in this game. They're just gonna think, this is just another average guy. He's not streaming, this isn't the secret agent. He's not trying to expose all of our amazing elements of this game. That can't be him. Look. <laughs> all right. So let's thank you guys. I appreciate that, Gareth. Uh, so let's go jump into into Gods Unchained. This is a fun game. Uh, I have a lot of fun with Gods Unchained, and uh, let's go. Let's go do this, man. I'm I'm really excited about this. Okay. So here we are in GU Land. Uh, this is Gods Unchained right here. If you guys don't know much about this game. Uh, it's definitely worth checking out. So you can go to Gods Unchained, uh, you know, and you can find this game for free. It's a free download. 
Uh, you can't find it in places like Steam just yet, but uh, we'll, yeah, I'm sure that they'll definitely eventually get there at that, at that point. This game, I, I feel like they're, you know, we're, we're really gearing this game up for mass adoption, but there are quite a, a couple of hurdles that they have to get past before they can really scale this game. And I think that they're going to be able to in a, be in a good shape for that uh, here at the end of the actual year. So, um, yeah. So let's go. Uh, let's go look at uh, some of the the actual things that we have here because the. Uh, so I was just looking at the chat here. I was trying to pull up chat on my phone. Um, so when we talk about, oh there we go. I got the chat up now. Oh hey AgroCat. Hey and, and th thanks you guys all for joining me here too. So uh, Gareth who's been here uh, before, uh, uh, MM. Uh, MW, you, you know you're always welcome here in the, in the chat too. And uh, Gareth, thanks for, for joining me, man. I appreciate you guys' support and hanging out with me. Um, so what I want to talk about before we get started is is just kind of, I want to show you guys these welcome sets because this, these are brand new sets of cards that you get when you first download the game. And you and these are these are just common cards or sets of common cards for each of the different um, each of the different uh, uh, types of, of, of decks you can play. So you can see here we have one for nature, one for light, one for war, magic, death, and deception. Uh, and then I've built a bunch of decks. So these are all the starter decks. So you can see, and these have actually recently changed. So I don't know if you guys have seen this before, but you know, this stuff before, it, if you played, the decks were totally different. They were using actual core cards for these decks and you didn't actually get to modify them or do anything with them. You could just play them as they were, but they were actually pretty good decks uh, because of that. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I think that what they wanted to do here is they, they, they wanted to change things up. So they gave you free cards essentially that everybody got. So these are now new free cards in your welcome deck. And uh, you can actually take these decks now and mess with them a little bit too, which is kind of fun. So it actually allows new players to come in and start learning super fast. So if you guys have not played, uh, you know, Gods Unchained before, uh, this actually will help you to come in, learn the game really easily, have these decks ready to go and be able to play these and have a lot of fun. So today we're gonna actually, we're gonna play uh, with just these welcome decks. I'm gonna talk about really basic level stuff here as we play. And we're gonna we're gonna try and I because I haven't tried these welcome decks yet, so this is the first time for me too. Thought that would be fun. Uh, but you know, before we get started, I'm gonna tell you guys we're gonna do a giveaway here in just about five what five minutes. So we're gonna do like one one match maybe. We'll see here. Maybe we'll do like one mat. Oh, see there you go, Night Bob. Thank you, man. He's, he came in now. He's finally he's plugging me away. Uh, so we're gonna do a match here, I think, and then we're gonna then we'll do a, a giveaway. So stick around for that giveaway, and I'm gonna show you the super uh, special giveaway too. The first one we're doing here, it's for a new custom NFT that I just created for my crypto stash platform and for all of my uh, stashers, all of my all of the people who are, are part of my community. That's you guys. That's all you guys. I created for you guys. So, all right, let's go here and we're going to change up our deck. So we're going to pick up, we're going to just start with the nature starter because nature is one of my favorite ones anyways to play with. Um, and so all these cards are brand new. So I don't really know how any of these cards work. I have no, so I, I would be coming, this is just like you, right? I'm coming in this brand new. I don't know these cards at all. I mean, clearly I've played a lot of this game, but I don't know these cards. So I'm going to play these cards and we're going to see how it goes. Yes, yes. Oh, hey, what's up, Love Retro BTW? Thanks for joining me, man. Appreciate you always coming to chat. And thanks last time for, for uh, hosting me and stuff, uh, doing a little raid there, man. I appreciate that, dude. Uh, really cool. Uh, once again, I'm going to plug your show every time because your show is awesome, man. I, I caught it this weekend, this past weekend. He had on the original uh, Johnny Cage from Mortal Kombat. This guy had an amazing story. Like, all the shit he was saying. I couldn't believe all the stuff he was saying, to be honest. So, really great show. Go check us out. He does it every Saturday morning at 8 a.m., Pacific Standard Time here on Twitch. Uh, really fun show. This sexy stash. I know this is this. I'm, I'm in disguise. So this is my disguise today. Uh, I, I'm I'm the Gro Greco Roman god Stashius the Great in disguise, or Agent Stashius the Great. <laughs> We're gonna go with Forge. So this is your god power. You each each time you have a you you, you choose your god power. So this is your special power that you get for your god. There's four different ones. Oh, hey, thanks for hosting, man. I really appreciate that, buddy. Uh, so I I'm going to be able to, you know, pick these here. And uh, I usually pick Forage. That's usually the one I go for. Uh, but with this deck, it might there might be some better ones, you know? So then this is your mulligan. So this is what's going into your, into your hand. Uh, and this is 
Um, not the best draw because we look. I got an eight and a seven. I want to get rid of these big guys, so I'm gonna replace the big guys until I get smaller guys. Like I said, I don't really know these cards, but see, we get a the couple mulligans, so those will replace it. And look, it, since Finger I've even streamed too, which is really great. Look at this board, guys. This is beautiful. They redid this whole board too, and it just looks so good. So okay, so we have a bunch of one mana cards here, and you can see like this is a great one mana to start off. One mana, two two region. Yeah, that's a great card right there. And then here's how you you let them go to the next turn. So you flip the thing over. There goes the hammer. We're pay, playing against Glamlius. He's he's a level two hundred. I think what what level am I? I think I'm like only a hundred and something. I'm only like seventy five or something eighty. I'm not that high a level. Um, but I'm in a higher rank, so I'm always playing against higher level people who have a lot of experience. Awaken. Like, and that that's a killer play. This is probably one of the best first plays you could come out with Deception. Is you got your Switch Duelist out, you use your, your little blip for extra magic, and you get your Field Assassin out. That's a pretty good play. So now we can play, so so you can see like each one of these cards, they have like their own special abilities, and we'll talk a little bit more about these. If you guys have questions about these cards or about what I'm doing, definitely let me know. Um, so this one is Summon a Confused Eagle, then if you have three or more creatures on the board, Summon a Confused Badger. Okay, we don't want to do that one just yet, probably. Uh, we can do Forage. And that's what we're going to do. So Forage gives me an extra card, essentially. It, and it, it takes cards out of my graveyard. The graveyard, they call it. This is a Void. Uh, but, you know, it's like a graveyard. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to do. So, you know, some of these basic elements of the game, you can see this is your attack and defense here. Uh, any special abilities are in the middle, but you can hover over and it tells you all the special abilities, which is pretty cool. And then you have things uh, that are kind of new to the game that maybe you guys don't know about called like the Sanctum. The Sanctum is over here on your right hand side. So this, you build points as you fight. And you can see like now he has six points in the Sanctum. And then this gives you, a, it's like a sideboard. So you can kind of like use those points to get these cards while you're playing and they can try and turn the favor actually in your in your in your behalf so uh it's actually pretty cool uh all right so two best friends now <laughs> oh man give a creature three strength overkill when this creature attacks it. oh man that's not uh, none of these are good okay i'm gonna put both of these down because i don't really have anything else like that's just these things are too high. Like I was hoping this this is this seems to be more of like maybe a mid-range deck. Hmm. And of course, like I said, I I don't know that I'm gonna win with these decks. I've never played them, and I'm playing against an experienced player who's probably you know playing with his custom deck, so. Oh, he's cheating me. Cheater! So the pace of this game is actually really good too. I think what they've done with the mana and the, how you unlock things. So you, you don't. There's no mana cards like like Magic the Gathering. You have these like unlocks of mana and they go per turn. So you can see he's got four unlocked. I'm gonna get my next turn. I'll have four unlocked. And then each turn up until five. It's just one turn. And then after that, it's two turns before you get your next unlock. And that corresponds obviously with the mana cost at the top. Yeah, this guy's just straight crushing me right now. <laughs> I did not get. Uh, yeah, I got like pretty bad cards for starting off here. Like this is all give a bunch of things to different targets and I don't have any of these things. Well, we're gonna We're gonna do that and see if we draw it. Oh, dang, for nothing. Now I must rest. See, I just have to like I just have to flip it over. There's there's literally like I can't really You've do any I can't do anything with use. any of these cards. But hopefully what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this guy out and he'll give us uh, a little bit of extra health here. So that's what we're gonna hopefully we're gonna hopefully do that there. Yeah, the board, right? I mean, they they just did a revamp on this board, and so they made it like a night scene instead of it being day, like super bright. I love this revamp here. Uh, I think it looks really clean and classic, and I'm really excited about it. And they've got other boards and stuff that are coming, so the whole boards will be a popular thing. You'll you'll have like a lot of times you'll see people with different boards. Um, a lot of times I'll have a loadout with my dragon board or whatever, but. Um, the board, then there'll be trinkets too, so that's another like, cosmetic type of thing that's just kind of cool that maybe you win for something, or you earned it somehow, or you bought it in the marketplace. You can definitely buy all these things in the marketplace, so yeah, that's, that's, that's cool that you notice that, AgroCat. It's definitely, uh, 
very different. So I'm pretty much dead here. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty much dead here. I, I, there's not, no, there's nothing I can really do with anything here. Like I can do this guy, and that's that's probably well. No, I can't do this guy either because I only have fa five mana. I can use my blip, but that's only going to give me five point five and a half mana, right? So if I use the blip, it only gives me one. It, it, it's one of these. So I, yeah, I mean, I could put this out. That's pretty I'm running much. Out of time. There's nothing else I can do. I'm done. I'm done. But it gives you it gives you a, a quick idea of what these starter decks have and what's in them, right? And also, now we're gonna get you the giveaway. You guys want the giveaway anyways, right? You guys wanted that giveaway anyways. Don't like... lie. So okay, yeah. So you can see I'm level uh, 82. So I'm not like super, super high level. I've played quite a few games, but I'm just I don't play as much as some other people. A little bit more casual. But you can see I've earned some XP, and as you earn XP and you go up levels, you you rank up, and then when you get to certain levels, you get free packs. So not only are you earning free pat, like earning things like, and, and that's kind of the whole system right there is that you get these free packs by playing, by winning. Uh, if you win, obviously you get a bonus, right? So when you win, you get bonuses for your match and you, and, and then you can go up in your, uh, uh, what, what league you're playing in. So you can see right now I'm playing in Midnight Shadow, uh, which is like, I think five tiers down from top league from Mythic. Mythic is the very top league, the best of the best players. I'm playing in Midnight Shadow, a couple, a couple pegs down. <laughs> That's okay, though. I enjoy it, man. So I bounce around, actually, Midnight Shadow and Auric Gold. I think Auric Gold is like three, four down, and then I think there's two, two more above that. So, uh, But this, this kind of shows you like what, what kind of competition you're going to be playing against. So I build up these points. I rank up. I level up. And when I level up, I get card packs. And I can open up those card packs and, you know, I may be able to sell those cards. Like I said, I can fuse those cards together. So the whole, whole system here, just to give you a breakdown, is you play the game. You level up. You get to certain level milestones. Usually uh, you get a, a, a basic pack every 10 levels. But then every 25, you get a bigger pack. And at big ones like 50, you get a bigger pack. When you first start out, you get packs like really a lot right at the beginning. So if you're start, uh, just uh, getting started on, with Gods Unchained, you actually build cards pretty quickly because you get packs uh, much quicker and you rank, you level up much faster, right? So you level up much faster when you first start. Uh, but you get these free packs and so you open the card packs and then you earn enough cards to then fuse these cards together. So the cards you're getting in the pack, you can then use those cards, you can fuse them together, what they call the forge. So the forge, you take duplicates and you can put them all together to make a higher ranked card. And you can take the, the plane, what we call quality of plane. So you can see here it says plane. You fuse those together and you make uh, your better versions of them, which you can then sell in the marketplace. So you can see here is the marketplace where everyone's selling all the, all the different cars. You can see here everything is denoted in Ethereum. So you do have to have that all set up, obviously, to play the game. But you can see here all the different rarities, gold, diamond, shinies, things like that. And uh, that you can actually get some value from that. I've sold some cards on here and made some decent money. I sold a, a diamond of a card where I'm just like, I don't really need this diamond or want this diamond. But I sold it and I think I ended up selling it for maybe it was like 10 bucks or 12 bucks. I don't remember at the time. It was 15 bucks, something like that. It was it was a decent, you know, thing. And it's just something I, I got while I was while I was playing and stuff. So uh, pretty cool. I mean, not while I was playing. I got that uh, opening Genesis packs, but that's kind of the same process of you being able to sell something on a marketplace and get value from these things too. So, um, and you know, when it comes down to market and trading, you know, you always have the ability to sell things. Uh, if you like, oh, I, this strategy is over. You know, like think about that when you're acquiring cards in Hearthstone or trying to get something for a certain type of deck, and then. Uh, you decide like, hey, um, you know, I don't want to play this style anymore. What am I going to do with these cards? Why well, I spent all this money trying to get these cards. Now I don't play that style of deck. Well, what do I do with the cards? Well, with this, you can sell them. So an aggro cat was saying, yeah, go over the forge. So um, I'll just show you real quick how, how you kind of forge. So what we're going to do is we're going to look here and let's see. Let's see if we can find one that has a bunch in it. Like shield bearer. Okay, so we have three there, five here, so we have six here. So look, so we, we, we could we could do this, look. So basically you just select all these cards. So you can see how it gives you a little meter. So what, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm, I'm just gonna fuse this one so you guys can see. So I have multiple of this card, I have what, six of them? So I need, and they're all plain. So I'm gonna take two plain ones and I'm gonna fuse them together uh, so I can make a, uh, a meteor one, one. So you can see like here, I'm gonna take, so one more is to make a meteorite card. So meteorite is the next level up of card rarity. 
And I'm basically burning two to make one. And then the process goes up as you go up. Uh, right now, it's actually disabled because of Ethereum gas prices are too high. Now, when I talked about hurdles earlier, this is one of the hurdles I was talking about. So, But this is essentially the process of doing it. So you can fuse your stuff to here. You have to have Flux to be able to fuse. So you have to have this special currency called Flux, and you earn that while you play as well. So you don't have to buy it. You earn it just by playing every match. If you win, you get Flux. If you lose, you get a little bit of Flux or something. But it's more if you win, obviously. So that's kind of that. So now, I, now what I want to do is I'm, I want to go and uh, I want to go and and uh, do a giveaway. You guys ready for a giveaway? I'm going to give away a really cool thing. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to give away here. So let me, bear with me for a second. Um, and with Gods Unchained, you see my screen there for a second for like that, that screen within screen thing, because Gods Unchained is a little bit weird about how they do their uh, their actual um, file. So it's hard. It won't capture one of the one of the files. So. Um, okay, so what I want to show you guys is, all right, now I'm going to do this giveaway. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give away a brand new NFT that I just created. I actually created this NFT myself. It is the Agent's Disguise Kit. So this is an Ethereum-based NFT. It's backed by one Ethereum. Um, I'm sorry, not Ethereum, Engine. <laughs> it's an, it's an Ethereum-based NFT on the Engine platform backed by one Ethereum. And this is something that uh, I do all the time. So I create my own NFTs all the time, you know, for certain purposes. Sometimes they're for a game a partnership that I have. Sometimes they're just for fun. Some, you know, most of them are community oriented stuff, but a lot of these things I am trying to work with games actively to get them being able to be used inside games, right? So you have these, the, the assets that are like, oh, hey, if you want a disguise kit, you could use this and this could be something you could incorporate into your game. So that's and that's a whole way of how engine works and a whole different ecosystem here. I'm not going to get too much into that, but this is a cool thing that you can own. And everybody in my community, we call them stashers, uh, is going to get one of these if they hold my mustache founders token. So uh, if you know about NFTs and you know about the engine ecosystem, you know what I've done is I've created my own token that is essentially this community token that uh, supports my channel and supports my work. And by purchasing it, you support and continue to support what I'm doing here, you know, my game streaming and all my videos and all the content I put out for everybody and, and the help that I try and provide uh, to people through the chats. And so what we do with that is that everyone who holds the, that token, because they're my supporters, they get monthly benefits. So these benefits range from, we do a, a monthly stream where we do a prize wheel where there's a bunch of different prizes on it with like things like, you know, game gift cards and game with stash and a couple other really cool things. Uh, and I also do cryptocurrency. I give a little bit of cryptocurrency each month to every one of these people, uh, as well as gives you discounts on, for, on future things. But it also, the big thing is it gives you access to uh, all of the cool crypto stash based NFTs that I make. You get them for free. So anytime I make one of these cool things, I put them out there for promotion or for people to purchase. But you guys, if you're, if you're a stash club that holds one of my founders tokens, you get this for free. So, but today I'm going to give one away for free. I, I know it was a little bit long winded, but I want you guys to know where this came from. And it's not like some weird random thing, you know, like I actually designed this. So I, I do uh, graphic design and illustration. And so this is the disguise kit here, obviously based on secret agent stash. So you can see this is my secret agent disguise kit with all the things I would need out in the field to make sure that I'm uh, disguised well and no one will ever know who the hell I am. <laughs> so I'm going to give one of these guys uh, to wait to you guys. So this is going to be a quick giveaway. We're going to start a, uh, an, uh, I'm going to start it right now. So we're going to do, I'm going to start the giveaway and we're going to do five minutes. So in five minutes, we're going to pick a winner. All you got to do is exclamation. Uh, what was it? Exclamation secret. So go ahead and put exclamation secret into the chat to be entered to win in this first giveaway for a agent disguise kit NFT. Uh, so you guys, you'll have that there in your engine wallet. So, uh, definitely appreciate you guys doing that. And, and we'll, we're going to do two giveaways today, actually. So this is going to be the first giveaway. The second giveaway, I'm actually going to give away one of my favorite gods unchained cards. So you're going to get a gods unchained NFT card, a card sent to you. Uh, and I'm going to give that away uh, later here in the stream. So stick around. But yeah, so I thought that was, I thought that was kind of fun, right? So this is this guy. So you're going to get, so here we'll check back in five minutes. We're going to go do another game. And then we'll come back and draw the winner, okay? All right, so let's switch up the deck though. And instead of doing nature, let's go with, um, let's go with war. Let's go with war. Like I said, I don't know these decks. This is just, so this, if you were brand new, this is essentially the experience you'd be having. You wouldn't know these decks either. You wouldn't know the cards. 
you'd, be, you'd probably be playing against people who, you know, have played already a couple times. Obviously, I'm, I'm playing against some bigger guys, but yeah, I'm going to choose a different loadout so you guys can see this. So I'm going to choose this one and boom, boom. So see this, I'm, I'm, I'm choosing, I'm just going to have a new loadout. So save and select. So you guys can see a different board. So I show you guys what they look like because they're cool. Uh, I really like that whole, that aspect of having these boards and the boards are kind of like cool and they're going to be tokenized too. And so are like the, the trinkets and stuff. So it's, it's really sweet. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. All right, guys, make sure you guys get those, those uh, exclamation secrets in there so you can get in and on the fun for the giveaway. I do giveaways every time, so that's why I, that's why my tagline is disguises and prizes. No, you're not late, dude. You're not late, Burton. You can jump in. We got five minutes, uh, still a couple minutes until th this is over, so you're not late. If you guys are just getting here, we have the giveaway going, so make sure you put that in there. Uh, we're gonna go with onslaught. Man, again with these big cards. I don't. I want to replace this one. Replace this one. Hoplite, okay, that's not bad. One, three, hidden for one turn. That's pretty good. That's a good one. That's so these are good. I'll go with these. Best of luck. See good with the, with this murderous. mulligan, you want to make sure you're setting up your first couple of plays really well. I don't know these cards, but I just know that I want cards that have a low mana because I only have one to start with. I want to have something that I can play, you know, right out the bat. And this guy's level five sixty six. <laughs> Get ready. Yeah, no worries, Birdman. Hey, thanks for joining me, man. You jump in anytime you want. We'll be here. We're going to hang out, and I'll always welcome you back to Secret Agent Sash headquarters. We're here today infiltrating the game. I'm dressed as Roman God Stashius the Great. Agent Stashius the Great. Shh, don't tell anybody. Infiltrating Gods and Chain today. And uh, we're going to... We're going to play... Okay, so I only got one. I can only play this guy, but it's good. He's hidden for one turn. It's nice. I have my, I, I see since I went third, I get multiple blips. These give you extra mana, but I don't really need to play the extra mana right now. TRX Planet, what's up, man? What's going on? Secret Agent Stash, we're, we're, we're doing it, man. We're disguised today as Secret Agent Stashius the Great. It's Infiltrating gods and chained here. Um, and so this guy is, he's intense training. So that's why he's not playing anything. So this guy has cars. He's using his god power. And he's, he's gonna be uh, pumping up his creatures, giving them plus one, plus two. Okay, not bad, so we got that here. We could, we, we'll probably wanna come up with one of these guys. Whoa, give each creature in your deck plus three strength. That's what we wanna get out right now. <laughs> That's not bad. Get that strength. Stashius the Great says attack. Cheers and hiding your secret honor. Thank you. I appreciate that, man. I need to get a I need a goblet for this one. I need like a sweet goblet. All right, I'm done. I, 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 I can't mm. stop. I can't keep grandstanding and talking without hitting the timer, man. I gotta flip it back over to the other guy. I want to leave him hanging. You know. Yeah, was a he got with the chariot. Okay, so now. damage creature okay so we could hoplite this guy I think that's what we're gonna do we're gonna do this we're gonna hoplite him but then we're going to use a blip that's to get rid of him for now. to get rid of this guy yes and there we go hmm all right, the secret mission rewards raffle is closed. So every, every, I told you guys, every game stream, every week, every Thursday, I do it the same time, always doing blockchain games, my favorite, and we always do giveaways. Uh, so you're gonna earn mission rewards, you're gonna, uh, for, for hanging out here with me, so you're gonna be able to turn those mission rewards in for things too. If you guys don't notice, you're earning these cool stash points down below, but just by watching, you guys can see what you can turn those in for. Go check the thing right there in chat and see that when you get a thousand, you can actually get me to change disguises on stream right in the middle of what we're doing. So I, I encourage you guys to hang out and try and get some more of those points. Okay, so now we're in a bit of trouble because he has pumped his guy up here. And he, I mean, he's got this guy here and he's pumped him up. So we're gonna, 
we're going to be in a bit of trouble because now we just got some bigger cards and this is none of these are really going to be super mm. helpful right now. Oh, yeah, you missed out on the raffle, man. I'm sorry. I was just talking about it before you came in and you must have not it must have like you must have just missed me talking about it. But yeah, we were doing a raffle. We're going to do another raffle, so stick around. So we're doing another prize giveaway. I'm going to do uh, one for a Gods and Chain card, one of my favorites. And um, I'm running out of time. I guess we'll I mean I don't know. Hmm. I took too long. <laughs> Whoops. That was stupid. So yeah, when I when, sometimes in the Gods and Chain, I don't con I'm talking a little bit too much. I'm not concentrating. I don't do very well on the actual game. But you know, this is more this this is more of like showing the game off to you guys, showing the features off that I love, more so than like really you know doing awesome at the game. I wouldn't talk so dang much to to chat. You know, you guys in chat, if if I was trying to really do so good. So. Uh, but really, the, the main point is to show off these welcome decks. And, you know, I'm playing against pretty high-level people. The welcome decks are probably not best suited for playing against high-level people like this. Uh, but they, they seem to be pretty good so far for... Um, oh, this is God Blitz. They seem to be pretty good so far. I can't really... I mean... I take damage for that, but it's like I'm not... I, have, I can't do anything. None of these creatures are damaged. I can't do anything. It's just sad. I'm going to enjoy this. And you know, to be honest, like when it comes down to it, you're you're going to be playing probably against somebody. If you're using these welcome decks, you're going to be playing against somebody who's also fairly inexperienced, doesn't have as many cards to play with. So I think that's where they really situate these decks at. And you can augment these decks too. So if you see something in this deck that is really cool playstyle, you can now edit these welcome decks. And make them your own kind of decks, but using some of the same cards because you actually steal all those cards just like everybody else. Now, you know, some of these core uh, cards like this, you can't sell. Uh, you can't sell the, the, these welcome deck cards or whatever, but um, they do help you boost up what you're doing right here from the get go. Dang. I'm just. Uh, I'm not getting anything super awesome here. I feel I feel bad because it's like I'm I'm just not really just I got nothing. There's no real strat uh, strategy on this one. I, I I don't I'm not building points much in the sanctum. I I don't have enough to really play here. Hmm. And it could just be you know like what it was with some of the other well uh, the previous starter decks. I felt like I played all the previous starter decks and really only two of them I felt were really solid to play. So it may just be finding the one that works best with your playstyle, or one that you know really just works the best. And I think that might be kind of the case: is you end up with, well, okay, some of these decks just are not the best deck, especially like I said against this higher level. But maybe there are some that are just a little bit better by default. And um, and yeah, and that 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 won't be so it won't be said de so detrimental, ready. you know. But as you can see here, like I'm just I, I'm not getting anything that I really need and there's like I'm getting a lot of high level stuff like I can finally play this but your creatures get plus two strength and take two damage or enemy creatures get plus two strength and take two damage so okay I could do that and then kill that would kill these guys but it wouldn't kill him so that I wouldn't want to do that because he's got the magic ward on so if it, this magic spell wouldn't go to him the nature starter deck is pretty nice yeah I just used the nature starter deck and I, it was okay I but this one, yeah, th this war deck one is just kind of getting Victor. crushed here. Uh, I don't really know why, but I mean, I'm playing against his war deck, which he's got, you know, a, a nice aggro deck going on here. And this this starter deck is not an aggro deck. Uh, TRX, have you played any other of the starter decks? Ones that you might recommend? What should I play next? Because I'm, I'm going to jump in and do another one after this. Well, obviously, we're going to pick the giveaway leader, but... Oh, Stash lost again. Dang, man, I'm going to get deranked. Playing all these nature, all these starter decks for you guys, all these welcome decks. I should, I should have created a brand new account. I don't know why I didn't do that. I could have just created maybe a brand new account for testing purposes, so I could show you guys what it was to really get started with the game instead of using my my you know stash account. Uh, but you can see here, I'm getting, I'm gonna get deranked. So every time you lose, your shield gets a little crack, and if it gets too many cracks, 
You go, you go down a rank, man. I may go down to the, the next rank. I'm shielded, so I'll go down to just this shield to nothing, so I won't have any bar anymore. But uh, if I go, if I lose again, then I'd get back. I'd, I'd be pushed back down. I didn't get. I know. Well, that's what I just did. I just did the starter deck with onslaught, and I didn't get any twin strike cards. So I don't know. Maybe it was just a bad draw. Like I said, I haven't played any of these these starter decks yet. The new starter decks, these welcome decks. Uh, but let's go and let's go and do a giveaway. Let's. I mean, let's, let's let's pick that giveaway winner. So we'll switch back over. And let's go and pick a giveaway winner. All right, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven entries. All right, let's pick a winner. Picking a winner here. All right, and the winner is MW. You are the winner, buddy. Congratulations. You have won a stash. And I'm going to put it back on screen. I want to show you what you won. You won a disguise kit. This is my brand new NFT that I just created. Uh, you, you know, funny enough, you're probably already getting one because I know that you are a supporter. I believe you're a supporter and hold my NFT already. You hold my founder's token. So I think you're already going to get one of these uh, tomorrow because I'm going to drop them tomorrow. But congratulations, you'll have two. Maybe, you know, you could give one to a friend, man. Maybe you got a friend out there that, that needs a disguise kit. Imagine when we can actually use these in game. I'm, I'm trying, like I said, I'm, I'm always work, trying to work with these games to get some of these things incorporated, uh, even just for funsies, you know, so. <laughs> yeah so i thought you hold ft uh, so congratulations man and you know a lot of these people are all in my telegram channel or my discord so you see nightbot plug in the discord there i do have a telegram channel where we talk more about crypto than we do games we talk about gaming and stuff too because we're all big engine fans there so you can jump in my telegram or the discord i you know the discord is all about gaming so if you want to get uh at me want to talk to me about games about your favorite stuff we, all, we talk about all gaming stuff there and it's actually a lot of fun. So that's where all the, all the secret agent stuff goes on. That's where my headquarters is. You can rank up there in chat too. And I'm going to have some cool things you can unlock. Uh, just like here. You know, there's cool things you can unlock in, in Twitch now. I have badges and, and custom emotes that I put up here. And all kinds of really cool things. So uh, you guys should go explore that. I'm going to keep adding over time. But all right, let's go. Uh, we're going to start. You know what? We're going to start another giveaway. And we're going to just have the giveaway going while we do this next match. How about that? What do you guys think about that? So this next giveaway I'm going to show you uh, is, here we go, I'm going to start it right now. So go ahead and, and in the chat, go and put exclamation secret again in chat. We're going to start that right now. I'm going to show you what, what this next one is. So this is one of my favorite G gods and chain cards and you guys are going to win one of these right now. So five minutes, make sure you guys put exclamation secret in there. Uh, but this is a real man. Do you guys know about a real man? If you guys don't know about a real man, this is an epic card in the GU universe. Uh, there's it's a little bit of a meme card a bit. I I would say if if there's any any GU players here, you guys may already know this. But uh, so you guys are gonna get a real man from Stash. This is one of my a real mans, uh, and you'll have this card here for for your collection. Uh, so go ahead and put exclamation secret in the chat there, and we'll give it away here in five minutes after this match. So we're going to do one more match here, and then we're going to go and uh, do that. All right, so what So this, this. What should we do next? So we did nature, we did war. Let's go and try, uh, let's go and try light. Let's see how light works. This seems like it's maybe more of an aggro deck, a lot of like number two, like two mana spells. Let's see how this goes. So you guys saw this time, I'm, I didn't talk about my Genesis uh, deck, or, I mean board, but I'll, I'll talk a little bit about the boards now too. So these boards you kind of can get through playing. Like I, I've had some because I've been around since the beta, before it was in closed beta, before it was out released to the public. And you can earn these boards by doing things, but I'm sure they'll, all be, they'll also be able to sell boards and trade boards here pretty soon. Trinkets and stuff are coming soon for, for all that as well. And there'll be more trinkets and things coming. But they're basically cosmetics or little things that just look cool. They don't give you any boost or, or anything like that, you know? So I don't know about this one. I'm going to go with Summon Acolyte. Or do I do Heaven's Light? We'll go with Summon Acolyte. It's the basic one, the God's power. So you can see this. You get to pick a different God power. And these are basically strategies. So sometimes you can think about, well, what is the other guy going to have? Uh, or what does my deck really rely on? A lot of decks sometimes just rely on one specific uh, God power because that's what it's built around. Radiant Spirit. 
that's not actually not bad. I, I, I don't want to keep that. I want to try and get a smaller card. Agro Cat says, it is, is it possible yet to Good add luck. a collectible like the Crypto Kitty statues cross promo to the board yet? Uh, no. So, you know, uh, I, I do all, yeah, that what they did do, the uh, G Gotham Chain did do a really cool with cross Justice promo with Crypto Kitties, where you could, you, you could forge your kitties into cards for Gods Unchained, and then they, they would show up as like little trinkets here. Uh, but they are not, uh, it, oh, Real Man card is still on screen. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> let me go, let me go take that off real quick. We should just leave it up there forever, Real Man on screen doing it. Uh, so, uh, yeah, is, is it possible? No, they're not on the board yet. They're not out yet, but they're coming very soon, actually. I think they're going to have that out, that functionality, before they release the next set of cards. So they've been talking about that, how they're going to support those here uh, pretty quickly. So uh, that Etherbox, too, was the other one that they did. There is no rest for justice. All right, that's pretty good. Hidden for one turn. Oh, we're going to get that out, too. So here we go. This is a decent little star. We got two creatures out first. Uh, you know, it's cool that he got th this Dart Maniac is a pretty good one to get out first, too. Uh, thanks, Darth, for letting me know that, about that, buddy. I appreciate it. So, yeah, so this is a better start here. You can see I got two cards out on my first turn. I'm going I was going second. So, you know, you can kind of do a little bit more damage there, uh, you know, with second if you have some good cards. But, you know, you can see I got to play two decent ones right away. Now we're somewhat evenly matched, you know, versus me just being behind from the get-go. <laughs> Dang, I wish I had done one random damage to this one, to this creature. Honor guides me. All right, so let's see what we're going to do here. We got two mana to work with with we got a couple blips i call them blips they're not actually called these aren't called blips they're called probably like mana dots or something i call them blips mana blip we don't wait draw a card and give each creature in your hand plus one health or hunt we probably just need to go with this guy we could do this too but we want to this is a bigger card so we want to this out and then we we definitely want to do this and trade up it sucks that i had it it took two to kill that but what are you gonna do? Hmm. They're called bag of tricks, man. Don't. I, they're not really. They're not bag of tricks really anymore. That's the thing. They used to be called bag of tricks, but that's what I'm saying. That was an actual. That was before they like before what TRX Planet is talking about is that uh, before they were called bag. There was an actual card you had in your thing called bag of tricks, and you you use the card. It was it was clunky. They changed it to this whole new system, and so now it's better. Uh, hey, don't forget to make sure you... Oh, hey, thank you for following, Mighty Bird. Th thanks so much. I appreciate you for following. Oh, we're doing a giveaway right now, so put exclamation secret into... Oh, it just closed. Oh, my you turn. just missed it. I'm sorry. We do giveaways all the time uh, on my stream here, so hopefully now that you're you're following, you can join me here next week. I do it every Thursday the same time, so we'll do giveaways there, and you'll get the next one. But this one just closed. You just missed it. I'm sorry. But welcome to the channel, and thanks. Thanks for hanging out and, and watching. Uh, do different disguises and stuff uh, every time. So, right before the morning meeting, that's great. It's a great time to listen to Stash rant on about his favorite blockchain games. Um, okay, so we're gonna do Acolyte, and then we gotta take this guy out. So we're, that's that's a give me. How much else we can do here? Hmm. Yeah, I love I love Gods Unchained. This is definitely one of my favorite uh, blockchain games right now. I, the one I've been playing probably the most is Gods Unchained for sure. Blockchain games, uh, and uh, you know, it just like I said, so much polish here. I love working with the team and, and doing interviews. Like I said, if you guys haven't checked out my YouTube channel, you can go to YouTube.com/slash/CryptoStash, and you can find all my crypto stuff there. Plus, gaming stuff is on my YouTube as well. Uh, that's where I was doing all my gaming stuff before I moved to Twitch. So if you guys have and don't know the, the the you know kind of thing, I wasn't on Twitch before. I was doing it all on YouTube. I've been making my transition over to, to Twitch. I have about 4K subs on YouTube, but I uh, want to try and get that you know kind of over here on Honor Twitch. So. Guides me. Oh, you're one of the senior Unity devs. Oh, cool, man. Hey, thanks so much for for joining me, man, and hanging out. Yeah, I hope you guys liked my interview. I hope you liked my interview with uh, with Derek there. Would love to get you on some time, man. We, you know, have an actual dev uh, come on and talk about stuff. You know, I'm, I'm also a developer too, so we could get into some nitty gritty stuff. Some nitty gritty. So this is pretty good. So we, yeah, we probably want to go with that. And then we're gonna trade up on that guy. Yeah, so you know, like I said, I, I, 
Gods and Chain has a lot of really cool things coming up. That's why I was really excited to interview Derek uh, here recently. Mm. Trial of the Gods, the new expansion set of brand new cards are coming here soon. It's you know it's a pretty big a pretty big deal. It's season one. This is the first actual season of Gods Unchained. Before we were in this Genesis phase, where we were doing balancing and other things, and the God the, the game had just kind of come out of beta. So it's come a long way very quickly. Oh man, he got that he got that poison out there and he got me, man. Two months overdue for a haircut, dude. I totally understand that. I I, I definitely get that. Uh, I definitely get that. that I'm luckily my girlfriend cut my hair about a couple weeks ago and she did a dang good job. I could not believe how good of a job she actually did. Uh, so she may have to do that again. But I feel you, I feel you on the haircut. Uh, nothing really good. I mean, okay. So this is what we got to do. We're gonna do that. Then we can, okay, so now we got something, we could do wild, oh, we could do wild hog. And, yeah, so here we go, we're gonna blip, we're gonna do wild hog, then we're gonna do battlement luminary, so we give plus one health, right? Yeah, perfect. Cool. That's enough for now. He's a confused you little piggy, that's alright. So you can see confusion, that's the status he has as he comes out, he's already confused. That's a, that's a pretty big trait of nature is confusion. And then we were talking about double uh, twin strike before. Strix Hunter is a really classic twin striker, you know, for war decks. Oh, and he's going in with Blitz. Ouch. Probably this is going to hurt. This is going to hurt. So if you guys were entered in the last giveaway, just know, stick around here. After this match, I'm going to draw the giveaway winner. Uh, so I can't do it here during the middle of the match, but uh, definitely do that. But like you guys, uh, if you guys don't know, you know, I, I got all my emotes set up here on Twitch. So you guys can earn emotes. You can earn channel points called mission rewards. So as you watch the, the missions here that I do every week, uh, each mission is different game, different disguises on each mission. You can earn these rewards and these channel points and you get to redeem them for some cool stuff, including being able to get me to change disguises on stream in the middle of my stream. Or even getting me to do a custom to disguise for you. Like you say, I want you to be this stash and then I'll do that for like one of the next streams. So there's some pretty cool prizes and then I'll add some more stuff. Maybe you guys give me some suggestions. My girlfriend has been gunning to get that first disguise change. She's like, I'm almost at a thousand points. I'm going to make you do it. And I go, no, I'm going to up it to 2000. <laughs> I told her that. So she's probably going to try and redeem that on me. Okay. So let's see pluck from a tail, how that works. Oh, that's actually a pretty good one right there. I'm just playing. I probably didn't really need to play that, to be perfectly honest, but it got another creature out. I don't have much else going on. I'll get this guy out, and that'll help hmm. with some deadliness next turn, but... Don't ever count the stash out. See, this guy's level 47, so he doesn't have as much as much experience. I, mean, I don't know. <laughs> my, so so you can see oh, Christy, just Christy is my girlfriend there. So she she likes to troll me in chat sometimes, guys. So uh, Mrs. Secret Agent there. And uh, she she's going to make me do a princess outfit. I can see that. So I'll rock whatever you guys ask me to do. And I'll make a damn good costume out of it too. Because that's how I roll. It's always doing fun stuff. Bert says he's going for 3,000 for sure. Leaning towards Greta the Gremlin. <laughs> All right, man. Yeah, whatever you guys can think of, I, I guarantee I'll crush it and knock it out of the park. I have a lot of experience like doing costuming and and crafty type stuff, so like art and things like that. I, I'll have to show if, if you guys know me or you guys have seen any of my stuff like on Twitter. If you guys follow me on Twitter or even on maybe TikTok, I did this whole series of me doing my Halloween decorations because I do custom decorations every year with my girlfriend here for Halloween, Honor and people loved me. seeing what I did, so I wanted to do a behind the scenes thing, and so, uh, yeah, I, I, the stuff I did was all Beetlejuice themed, it was really fun. Alright, so how best to play this? Ooh, that's not bad. So, we could do this, and then if we attack... We could fully heal, but who do we, we want to attack? This guy, probably. I wish we could get this guy, but it's just not. I think his shield will block him. Oh, but he's asleep, so it's not really going to make a difference now. Well, we'll give this guy frontline anyways. 
that's enough for now. That way, if he's gonna attack me, he's, you know, he's gonna take some some damage there. He's going to get deadly. Deadly. <laughs> So yeah, channel points are fun, and now I have new custom, um, I have new custom icons. So if you guys have been a subscriber and been here for one month, two months, three months, six months, you can get the golden stash by being a, uh, I mean, a follower. You get a follower for for one year. So I don't know who's gonna get that golden stash first, but that golden stash icon is definitely gonna be well coveted here. Yeah, I know he was just gonna take it out with the mage. There's no I mean there's just nothing else I could really do, honestly. Sometimes it's just getting to a point oh man, so yeah, and he's he's built his sanctum up. My sanctum I'm just generating nothing for the sanctum, you know, it's just I'm just getting smashed Time here, so. to act. And like what's up with these decks and having so many like large end game cards on some of these decks? They really should have gone more with uh at, like like smaller aggro focused decks, I think would have been really cool for these starter decks. Cause see, look now I'm sitting here with like, three cards. I can't play. I can't do anything. I mean, and I feel like that's kind of been the case with all of the, the the starter decks, I've, welcome decks I've just played. I feel like I've kind of been in a lot of positions where I didn't have cards to play. Really, I don't know. It's weird. But overall, I like them. I think there's some cool cards in here. So some of these cards definitely I think are really great because you can use these cards in your own decks. That's a big thing right there. So you essentially just got like a whole set of, of like 40 new cards to use in your decks and stuff. That's why, you know, the Gods and Chain team is so awesome. They just give you free stuff. <laughs> we need more free stuff. Actually, if you guys didn't see, I, I gave away a pack, a, a legendary pack of Trial of the Gods cards on my Twitter with that interview I did with one of the team members. And, uh, you, you know, somebody already won it, but, you know, th those are not going to ship until they go out. But definitely a really cool prize. And I think maybe we'll see if we can get some more prizes from the team here. Uh, I, I, sh I probably could have just followed up with them and got something for today, but I was a little bit lazy. So my, my bad on that, guys. <laughs> but they're very cool. It's great oh, working no, with them. They're a great team and very focused and very professional. But they really love their community, too. Very community focused and oriented. And that is something I truly love. All right, well, we can finally play something, an Anubin Usher. It's a little too late, but <laughs> we can play it. If it breathes, it bleeds. Yeah. I'm going down. Play your cards right, and I'll make it quick. Usually I do the guns when I win, but no wins today, man. I didn't really expect to win using these decks at, you know, at this rank or whatever, uh, to be perfectly honest, guys. Uh, but I, I just I wanted to showcase these welcome decks because it's a new thing. I really wanted you guys to see kind of the beginner elements of Gods Unchained if you're not familiar. Um, next time, you know, we'll, we'll focus a little bit more on deck creation maybe. And we'll, we'll do some of that and create some decks and then go in and really talk more nitty gritty, you know. So let's go pick a let's go pick a winner. So you can see I went up and, and stuff and I'm going to show you some of the after the winner too before we jump on our next deck. So. Alright, so we're gonna go pick a winner. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people who have entered. We're gonna pick a winner. This is for a Gods Unchained, a real man card. I'm gonna send you this card. Uh, it, it's a little bit of a meme, I guess. It's a little bit of a meme, a meme card in the GU community, guys. But a real man has a following. People love it. Uh, maybe one of the worst cards in the whole game. Not real. I mean, it kind of is, but not really. It's fun. Uh, but real man is a lot of fun. <laughs> And, and it's great. And I, I think it's great to have cool things like this that are in the community that are a little bit like, you know, uh, inside joke. Yeah, Agricat, you're right, man. GU has been developed at the highest level and it really is one of the fastest and best, you know, operating blockchain games that I've used to. They, they've really put it, you know, they've really put it down on this game. And so that's why I love playing it. I love being a part of their community. And it just makes a lot of fun. It, the game itself is fun. Even if I didn't, you know, even if I didn't, uh, if were, there were no real blockchain elements, this is a game I could see myself playing, for, to be perfectly honest. I love the theme and stuff behind it, too. We didn't even get into that. We didn't, That's why I'm wearing this today, because it's all themed Greco-Roman gods and cool, you know. And they bring that into the story, too. And there's a great story, actually, behind this. They actually have a whole story, like like straight novel almost status that they're developing behind this, uh, which is actually really cool. And you can go read that on their blog. So I, I highly recommend it, actually. I've talked a lot about those stories, and I think it's a really cool feature, and I hope they just continue to do more of it and compile them and 
Uh, I, so I love that feature. But uh, good luck to you guys. Let's go do the drawing. We're gonna pick a winner right now. They're, they're, you guys are like, Stash, just be quiet, man. Pick the winner. We don't wanna hear you talk so much. Just give us the free stuff. <laughs> well, congrats, T-Rex Planet. You missed that first one, but dude, look look at you. You came back as a true champion and won the, one, and won the second prize. Uh, even though you missed the first one. so uh, But like I said, guys, I do prizes every stream. Disguises and prizes. That's what I'm known for here. So I'm always going to be wearing a different disguise. Infiltrating my favorite blockchain games. And uh, congrats uh, there, TRX Planet, dude. You got it. So I'm going to uh, gonna send you. And so for th those people who won, uh, if you guys won any of my giveaways, just send me a message here on Twitch. And I and with your your wallet address. So what we need from these ones is your Ethereum wallet address. So you just send me that Ethereum wallet address, and I can send your prize on over to you. So make sure you message me here on Twitch, and I'll get that out to all of our winners here after the stream. And you guys get all hooked up. And I do uh, TRX. I want to see you playing that a real man card in a match. Okay, don't just leave it in your deck. Don't just leave it in the pile, buddy. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, so so yeah, <laughs> let's um. Let's take a look at one more. Let's take a look at one more of the welcome decks before we go. Before Secret Ad Agent Staff signs off on mission number two, and we are, you know, I'll we'll, we'll see you next. And we'll do it again next week, right? We're not, we're not leaving yet, but we're gonna do this. You can re-roll that. No, I'm not gonna re-roll. <laughs> oh, Gareth says he just created an account. Well, congratulations and welcome to the GU community, man. That's awesome. I'm, I'm glad to see you like checking out the game. If you ever need help, hints, tips, I'm here. They have a great Discord. Jump in the Discord for sure. Jump in my Discord too. If you, I think you're already there in the in my Discord, but if not, I can give you a. You can get the, a link from it there too. <laughs> Anywhere here doesn't have it. Everyone has a real man. That's the whole point of it. It's funny. Just accept my real man card, man. Accept my my generous real man offer. <laughs> and just suck it up and love it, you know? Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna give uh you want me to get it get to Gareth? Oh, that's so nice of you, dude. All right. If you really if you really feel that's the case, I will send it to Gareth since he's a brand new player. And I will send you, I will send, T-Rex is a really cool guy. He's been here for all of my GU streams. Thanks, man. You're a great supporter. That is so super kind of you supporting the community. That's one of the, what, there you go. Is just another reason of, like I said, what I love about this community. It's amazing. So really cool, man. That's, that's cool. I will send it to Garib instead. And he'll, he'll get the, his first real man card from Stash. <laughs> all right. So we'll pick our last deck. We're going to go with Deception as the last starter deck we're, we're going to try on the stream. Uh, and then we're going to pop back to, I'm going to change my loadout back to the, uh, okay, so we had Midnight Temple, so we're going to do the new arena board. So the Midnight Temple was the other one, and that we're going to do this one. Oh, wait, was it the one I was already at? Or this is the Midnight, oh, yeah, we want to do this one. I didn't do this one yet, I don't think. Yeah. Oh, no, we want to leave these here. All right, let's jump in. Turn off the cards, turn off the stash backgrounds. So I'm just queued up here too. And you know, like you guys see, you know, it's funny that they have different kind of modes here. Still, they have a constructed mode. No one ever uses constructed, just so you guys know if you're new. It's all ranked constructed. There's no point in doing anything, anything but ranked, really, in my opinion. I guess you could do the other ones. Like you could do trial ones against AI or something if you want to. But you might as well just jump in and start, you know, losing. If you really who cares, you know, earn cards. That's what you want to do. So even if you suck, you don't know how to play the game, just jump into Rank Constructed, start learning the game by losing or winning sometimes, and you know building your decks and, and learning a little bit more, and you earn those card packs, earn those card packs. That's how you expand that deck. You just keep earning cards. Because right now, you can't really buy packs of cards. You can go buy individual cards in the marketplace. So if you have a card you like, you think you need for your deck, you can just go get that one individual card, which is great. No, no Hearthstone like status where you're like buying 10 million packs trying to get that one card. And then you don't know what to do with all these dupes. Yeah, no, no problem, man. You know, I love doing giveaways. I love being able to give away some of these things. Um, you know, sometimes they're for my own personal collection or something I created myself or something, you know, that uh, I, I collaborated with the team to give away. I love to be able to collaborate and always give away stuff from the team. It's, it's a lot of fun. So, I don't know what's going on. What's going on here? Deception, she's just not wanting to load for me. This is kind of unusual, to be perfectly honest. Usually it goes uh, pretty quick here with the connection screen. Uh, but it may just be that maybe they're having um, problems connecting, and that's why it's dropping. I'm not, I'm not really sure here, but... 
Uh, so did you guys have any questions about Gods Unchained or, or things that maybe you were confused of? If you guys have questions, go ahead and put them in the chat stuff and uh, I'll definitely, you know, try and answer them here before we go if, if this is going to, if it's not going to connect here and we're going to have to go back to, to our loading screen. Uh, oh yeah, TRX, you, you got one of my dragons. Yeah, dude, the stash dragon's cool. That was a great cross promotion that I did with Forgotten Artifacts and also with Rewardio, my buddy's platform. And you could earn these dragon NFTs that you could then play in a, a, a really cool game called Forgotten Artifacts, also a blockchain game. I'll be featuring Forgotten Artifacts on my stream here, actually, uh, here pretty soon. So uh, definitely, look, and I featured them before. They're a great game. It's a dungeon crawler. It's a lot of fun. Blockchain based. You could you earn blockchain items just by playing, and then you can go sell them in the marketplace. Once again, recurring themes of play to earn. It's all about play to earn. That's how I got this this amazing gold. I mean, this amazing silver crown here. I played to earn, and I upgraded to a silver crown. Uh, no, but that's that's what it's all about, you know. Is, is is your time is now being invested wisely instead of it being invested in something that you get no value ever back out of it. And that's one of the things I love about blockchain gaming, and that's why I'm here and doing that. Uh, this is the first time I have had any issue with uh, the game locking since since they, they just rolled out a new version of the game. It's 0 0.23. Uh, and so there have been a couple of issues. They might be rolling it back tomorrow uh, to 0.22 because of the issues and they don't want to disrupt weakened rank constructed. But you can see here, I connection timed out. Uh, but this is the first time I, I have I've done that since I've been playing this week. So Lost a few games to lockups mid-game. Yeah, yeah, that sucks. It, it's the worst when you when you lock up like in the middle of a match. Um, yeah, uh, thanks, Monty Berg, dude. I'll definitely do that. I Man, I'll go into the local folder and I'll I'll, I'll send the dump folder uh, to the bugs channel. Yeah, no problem, man. I I I anytime I do uh, find something, I try and always report it uh to do something like that so all right let's see if we can load in one more time and if we'll get a match here so i can show off this this last welcome deck i want to show off one of these one, one more of these welcome decks so you guys can see because deception is one of my favorite ones i really like how deception plays at first when i first started playing gods unchained deception was one of the last decks i really like one of the last uh gods that i was really like messing around with creating decks for but then after i did uh is yeah i won't reboot the problem is when you reboot the game, it overwrites the log. Yeah, I'll, I'll grab the log right after this. So um, essentially, you know, the Deception was kind of the last one I was playing, and I found it's actually really fun to play. It's a really cool style of gameplay. And so I really like uh, Deception, actually. So, oh, so TRX says the, the lock is mostly when you play Jason. Jason's one of the most popular cards in the game. It is a legendary card, so you can only have one Jason in your deck, but what the Jason card does is it allows you to delve three legendary random legendaries so they don't have to be in your deck and um yeah so we're gonna go cheat and okay this is not a bad too bad of a draw mm -hmm. so we just want to get rid of these big cards i don't really know these cards Oof. i kind of almost want to keep that one but uh, i need i really need to get a one a one mana already. card oh i got one Cool. You're gonna need some Sweet. sunscreen. Uh, and I'm going first. So this is actually not a bad play. It kind of turned out like I ended up getting a nature card out of this, but uh, it's cool that that's that's my first play. And why why not? Oh hey MW man, thank you so much for staying up, dude, and hanging out with me. I know you know I have a lot of international community. And I really love your guys' support and appreciate it so much. I know sometimes you guys can't catch things like in the mainstream times. So thank you so much for being here on stream with me. Because I know it's late there. I know there's a couple other people who are hanging out that, that you know, are part of the Stash Club. Uh, my stashers that, that, you know, are in different time zones. So if you guys are here with me, so much love and appreciate it, man. Have fun and uh, get some good rest for those kiddos. So... Let's see... We can get that guy out, or we can get one of these out hidden. That's pretty good. So I think I think we're gonna blip. We're gonna do our little blip blip. Thanks for stopping by, Agro Cat man. Appreciate it. This is our last one too. But yeah, I, I'm doing a I'm doing a stream. He mentioned I'm doing a, a stream later on. That's different. So I'll talk that about that here in a second. Okay, we're gonna do that. 
Mm. Try to hit this guy, but he's confused, so he hits the, the god and, and said, who cares? Hmm. So I do a cryptocurrency like discussion meetup every month with my buddy here. Actually, locally, it's an actual physical meetup, but we haven't been doing it because of coronavirus. And so we've been doing a virtual meeting, so it, it's tonight in a couple of hours after my stream. So I'm going to be talking about crypto with a bunch of, of crypto friends and, and we're going to be on Zoom doing it. It's a private thing. It's not like a streamed thing. We don't stream it or anything. We just a uh, good discussion. Oh, and there's that Jason. We were just talking about Jason. Boom. Oh, maybe it's locked up on him. I don't know. We'll see here. Maybe he locks up and I get a win. I'm going to get a win because he's going to lock up. <laughs> That's a horrible thing to say. You know, this game actually runs really smooth all the time. Most of the time. They just wrote out this update and, and I did know there was issues. So. And you know, it happens. Um, okay, so where are we at? Um, he's gonna pull. He's pulling his legendaries right now. He's got a heal here, so you know that's why he healed his guy up here. Hmm. Oh, I mean, so I'm sorry, I didn't attack his guy yet, but he'll be able to heal. Ludger, what's going on, buddy? Thanks for stopping by, man. We're just playing another one of my favorite blockchain games. This is a uh, a game called Gods Unchained, and it's a trading card game, a lot of fun on the blockchain. You can play to earn, so you earn cards, and you can sell them in the marketplace, which is awesome. Of course, I'm disguised today to infiltrate this game as Agent Stasius the Great. <laughs> All right, so let's shut the hell up and get this guy done, Zode. And I think, see now I want to attack, okay, there we go. <laughs> I was like, now I want to attack the god, so he's probably going to attack the skelly. But this is a lot of fun, so if you, like, Lugger, hey, if you if you should try this game, man. It's a free-to-play game, and you can jump in, you can earn cards. I don't know if this is your game style, but very casual, a lot of fun, great community. Super easy, free-to-play. You get free cards when you sign up with the welcome deck and stuff. Pretty cool. Ha <laughs> ha Impling. Stashius the Great is doing a little bit better this time, guys. <laughs> I, I, you know, it's great to have a, to end. It'd be great to end on a win, right? Like I, I, I didn't get any wins. It'd be great to end on a win. Wouldn't that be great? I don't know if that's gonna happen, but we'll see. So we got a flank card there. We can't do anything that. Random new creatures. So we want to get that out for sure. See, we see we, he's got his heal, so he just he just keeps healing these dang creatures, man, and it makes it really hard for me to like get something out. So I guess we could do uh, I didn't really want to do that, but I don't really have too too good of a play there. So you can't play this game on mobile yet. So Garev, if you want to play this game on mobile, you cannot yet. It's not a mobile game. You can only play it on desktops so, or your laptop or whatever. So it's not a mobile game, but they are, I mean, this is going to be a mobile game. They just want to get it to a point where it makes sense, you know, with some of the stuff. So it will be mobile soon. Go check it out on your laptop. He brought out an Orpheo. Awesome. He must have got that from the sanctuary. He must. I mean, from the sanctum. I yeah. I must have. So this is one of the new cards coming from the uh, the new expansion set. Orpheo, Champion of Deception. I don't know how. He, or maybe he must have been a card where he he can draw a random card from my deck is what he he must have done. That's most likely what happened here. Well, you know what we got. We really we have to do this. Oh, but we we can't because he's got hidden. Oh, it's only hidden for one turn. I can't anyway, target so hidden fine. creatures. We're probably gonna have to deal. Yeah, we're just gonna. Have to do that. One step at a time. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think he, I think he got that from from his Jason. He must have pulled that um, as, and so, the, so I think that, so I think that the the trial of the gods cards are not. You can't use them, but if there's like random things that pull randomly like that, I think you can end up getting them in draws. So right now I think you can pull some things like this, like some of the legendaries from the new set, and they can some of them may also actually show up in the sanctum too. 
So, and you'll, and the, like, here's one right here. Here's the Thievian strategi uh, Strategos. Uh, uh, you can see with the, it has the, the, the new symbol here in the top right. So you can see that symbol right there. That means it is a Trial of the Gods card. So it, this card has the same symbol. See there in the top right? So this is a really cool one. This is one of the, the main gods from the new expansion set, Trial of the Gods. This is the one of the gods. It's the, his card. Oh, see, so yeah, so yeah, exactly. So you can draw them from card effects, but not you can't actually put them in your deck or anything just yet. All right, so so we got some cards here, but we didn't get anything like super awesome. We can throw that down, and then this. Down. But really, we're already at a, at a point where I, I make him wait for yeah, the punchline. The table has kind of turned here a little bit, hmm. and with his Steve being here, and then he's got Orfeo out. I mean, I, I, I'll have to do this, obviously, my next turn. I could, I could have done that this turn instead of getting some of these guys out, but... So yeah, he's just he's just gonna crush on me and load the board up here. Cause he knows he's got advantage. Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy over. You think you're funny? Just kidding. <clears throat> so that was oh so this is not bad, so at least I can I can I can use my cheat next turn to get rid of this guy. Because he's not gonna be able to heal him. And so that will get rid of the front line, but I mean, it doesn't really, it doesn't help me too, too, too much. Because yeah, see, once again, I got all these big creatures here, and I just, I can't do much with them. So all right, we're going to do that to get rid of that. And what would be the next biggest thing to want to get rid of? It's probably going to be this guy, because, but he's got back line. So we can't, we have to do something like this to him. So we're going to have to get rid of just just trade up on this guy trading up oh uh, and then I, I don't know I'll just play this just to get something out <laughs> just to get something out at this point but I don't face unless I can kind of hold on until I can get to get to some of these bigger cards but I don't I don't think so I don't think I'm gonna be able to So you know, uh, once again, guys, the, you know this is uh, this is what I do every week. Secret agent stash coming here. I'm a, I'm always wearing different disguises, hanging out with you guys, having a bunch of fun. We're gonna play blockchain games every week. Uh, I do do other streams too, so it's not I don't just stream once a week. But this is my guaranteed once a week show. This is where I'm always gonna be doing it. Uh, I don't announce my other streams, so sometimes I'll just pop on and stream. But uh, in general, every Thursday here, and you'll get to see some cool disguises. You get to interact with me. We'll get to have fun. We'll get to, to uh, you know, give away some prizes too. How can you beat that? Why would you want to be anywhere else? <laughs> um, okay, so let's get rid of that. We got a Blitz Deadly. So we could do, can we do this? No. Wait, can we? Let's see how, I don't, I think I might've jacked that up. Oh, I did. Okay, so I I shouldn't have done that clearly. <laughs> uh, so I should I should have attacked. I should what I should have done was attacked him with this to get the bubble off, which would have sacrificed him. But then my deadly would have killed this, and I did it backwards. Oops. Hmm. I'm pretty much dead anyway, so there's not much I can do the next turn. So. Yeah, uh, Garov. So uh, for that card, send me your Ethereum address that you use to to, to open your Gods Unchained account. Send me that Ethereum address, and I'll send you that card after the stream. Put me out of my misery, Eddie Murphy. This ain't funny no more. Well, there you go. So I showed you guys a bunch of the new welcome decks here for Gods Unchained. And uh, here, we're just going to jump back to our...
background. Showed you guys a bunch of the new welcome decks here for Gods Unchained. Uh, I think it's a really great change for the game. I think it helps bring people in, uh, helps them to to get acquainted with the game a lot faster and do it efficiently. And you get these cool new cards. So I demoed them here today. Uh, look for more Gods Unchained on the stream here. Uh, you know, more. I, I, and if you guys have games you want me to tell, uh, try, test out, jump in my Discord. Go ahead and jump in my Discord and let me know in there. I want to know what you guys think I should be playing. If you have suggestions for blockchain games or for costumes for disguises, I always take them. I may not do them unless you unless you turn those points in. You got to turn those channel points in. But but uh, I'll, I'll definitely be uh, around doing it uh, every week. And you guys can join me right here on the Secret Agent Stash Mission Show. So, all right, guys. I think that that's all I have for you guys. Until next time.